Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to find the value of C that's going to give us um, uh, our perfect square binomial. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to da, da, da. what we're going to do is we're going to do the process of completing the square. And the process of completing the square has a lot of different applications in math. But what we want to do here is just find what is our value of C that is going to allow us to complete the square. So a couple things to remember about completing the square is we're going to complete the square when we have a polynomial that's going to be in the form of a quadratic. Then to find our value of C, what we first do is make sure our A is 1, then we take the value of B, divide it by 2, and square it. So here my value of B is negative 3, divided by 2, square it. Now rather than just dividing by 2 and then squaring negative 1.5, I'm going to leave it as this fraction, um, leave it as this fraction and just use the properties of exponents which allow me to square the top, and, uh, the numerator, and the denominator. So therefore, I am going to end up with negative 3 squared, which is 9, and 2 squared, which is 4. Therefore, the value of my c is going to equal a, uh, a positive 9 fourths. And that's going to now allow us um, to, that's going to now allow us to write a perfect square uh, binomial to help us complete the square. And that is how you solve that problem. Thanks.